She has a cat on her ass. Daddy. What was that face? <laughs> it's like he's disappointed that she's not dead. <laughs> How are you? I'm hop hop. hop I hate you. Happy. Goes what? <laughs> yeah. That's... Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> that is the correct response. Why do you How ask? dare you not oh, properly whoa. respond, Dante? See. Odo would have your because dick. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Cut off. Are you seriously going to tell her that? You hush. Hmm? Where's your mom? That's oh, all I'm asked. That's, that's all I'm mom? interested in. She left earlier. She got a Nile message uh -oh. from someone. That... She Jesus looked kind of panicky, too. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. Uh, well... <laughs> Might as well, you know... You came. But aren't Waste you time. Early? Huh? You said you would play Shovel Forge with me no, tomorrow. No, I didn't. I specifically said no. No, I didn't. <laughs> I yeah, well, since you're over here, with you. Th Tomorrow. that's the date. It's not even midnight yet. <laughs> We're gonna play shuffle. I kept my We're promise by staying me. home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Oh, did you want something to drink? No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? Stream? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're gonna stream online? Yeah. At one in the morning. Yeah. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay what? so late. Oh, jeez. You sound like an old she's man. Young, what? Because he is. He's an old thirty. Man. He's not an old man. Thirty's <laughs> like fine. ancient. Today isn't for work. It's just a personal stream. That's not the issue. And tomorrow is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Anyway, well, I mean... please watch, okay? <laughs> what is this animation? Look at that face. Yeah, I know. Both just, of them. So it's like shove a cookie in her mouth. Like, I'm scared. That's that's an emote. I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. <laughs> oh, I paused long enough for you to save it. <laughs> I don't even know what to fucking call Fine. it. <laughs> shove a cookie in her mouth. That's too long. <laughs> I, I really thinking. like the driving theme. I don't think it's it? playing right now, but I used it in all the outros. I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're well, right. Nothing bad happened yet, but we gotta find her mom. Sometime real soon. Wait. I'm going to die. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is whenever we were going to the crime scene. I gotcha. <laughs> or was it? Yeah. Because, like, Date or said on the I phone to her, Hey, I'm Date. You met me yesterday or whatever. It's like, would you say that to someone you hung out with? Yeah. I Dante's wouldn't. Date's not, you know, <laughs> that interesting of a man. <laughs> but she seemed to show great interest in him. I seemed to. <laughs> I stepped down hard on the accelerator. Don't do that. Ooh. Or I get to a crash. Look how fast he was going. Oh my god. I'm calling the cops. The real cops. Not you dream cops. I don't think you watched a stream. <laughs> god damn it. Look at this Shinji looking motherfucker. <laughs> Solve the case, Date. Anything stand out to you? Date. You promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. <laughs> what exactly are you planning to do? I'm going to go on what? a date with her wife. Seriously? Way. It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must. Hey, you remember this cutscene we just saw a minute ago? Ah, say it again. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So you're huh? gonna act like happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? <laughs> 
So you are not the worst sense of the word, I guess. You're the worst kind of person. <laughs> no, of course not. Getting her hopes so. up and everything. You almost sound relieved, Iba. Pardon? Are you jealous? Uh, Boss crosses her legs every other word. It's I very uncomfortable sitting there. Well, why does she always sit there then? She has a chair two feet from her. Sit behind your desk. Oh. I don't wanna. Uh huh. Sure. What about Mizuki. Am I too loud? I haven't been looking at the waveform. There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki. You sound fine to me, probably. What, do you, what, what does that mean? <laughs> you just said a bunch of words. What you say is a bunch of words. To speak with her directly. Is there any, any of them? I hope she gets better soon. Uh, about the investigation. I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant What a surprise. Progress. Seems like I'm the only person that can solve this. Hey Date. Oh yeah, Why you're not the go, to that bar you go see Mama. Uh, bar. Marble in Golden <laughs> bar? Show. bar. I don't go to bars. I what? see. Mama runs Marvel. She's an informant that knows just about everything there is to know about the criminal underground. Why? Yeah, yeah. Maybe she knows something. She think she I'm... gets them drunk. Uh, about the phone. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. It was Shoko's phone? It was yes. a burner phone. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Who called it? Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They called a burner phone. From a I didn't register phone. a name. I can make a deduction with this information. Really? <laughs> we know that the phone Do anything. belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. after Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably no wasn't shit. the murderer. No shit, really? <laughs> Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. They didn't know. Dun, dun, dun. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere easier to find. True. Who called it? <laughs> what? <laughs> but either way, our mysterious caller oh, is suspicious. That... Why this? end the conversation if we're just going to continue the conversation with the same question? Just it's with Ace Attorney, it changes the words. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They did Whatever. not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top Which of that, have they blocked done. Date's He's number and turned off the phone. The he panicked. Entirely with Date. <laughs> I suggest cutting his salary. <laughs> out of cop. cop batteries. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Where are you anyway, gonna plug in? We have to identify the caller. Cut your battery. You don't run on your own battery. You just flop over. If you don't want your salary cut. <sighs> Fine. Any other information on the phone? All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have what a friend What sweet games did it have on there, bro? The head office is looking into it now. Uh, about Mizuki. She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm? Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm So she this. snuck out of the hospital? She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? Unknown. Because she didn't want to be holed up in the hospital. Like, but why and how? Because nobody <laughs> ever watching her. Anything to report? Boss. About Renju. Renju? Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Oh, he's Hospital. not dead? No, he he's was not brought dead there yet. Oh, okay, accident. cool. Well, no, he didn't go to Sunfish Pocket. He got hit in the traffic accident in this timeline. 
All right. Butterfly effect is a bitch. He's unconscious and it's not looking good. Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renji. Really? Oh, I guess you don't have the knowledge that this is a video game and they wouldn't have brought it up without it being something important. It's a common thing that happens. You should play more video games, Date. <laughs> about Renju. Date, you should go talk to him. Should he I? Shogun should Adonis I? Former husband after all. Yeah. friend, he too. Some information. <laughs> but he's still That's asleep, cool. isn't he? It's also a Smack terrible him fog. Across <laughs> Smack him across him the face and wake him up. He needs, like, more smacks than that. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. Oh, come on. Summary. <laughs> I have three places to check. Central Hospital, where Renju is. I don't know if he's any condition to talk, but it might help. I could also go home and see Mizuki, or get information from Mama at Marvel. I uh, suggest going Mizuki first. About the investigation. There's been no progress, as usual. We're as fucking usual. The people useless. at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday people here are still also incompetent. our only yeah. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. Okay, so Marvel's probably gonna advance the story, because it did last time. Let's go to Mizuki. Because... Mizuki can't talk, Renju's asleep, so Marvel's probably gonna be the only lead. Rumbling. Oh, thanks, ABG. <laughs> no viruses! Oh, you should... PC suffers from clutter. Oh. Get this other app. <laughs> out of the 50 million that we have. That's Don't not a good this. sign. Don't do this. Why is she here? Oh, I, oh. Tell me, Sagan. I was his mother. <laughs> what?! <laughs> I assumed the worst. I was not expecting that. <laughs> yes. But How did you get okay in my I'm house? Mizuki, Mizuki? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. What happened to Iris? Oh, she's fine. She's playing Shovel Forge. Mizuki, what are you doing? What's she's talking. Like? Yeah, she's fine, apparently. Okay. Bench pressing. She's good. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. She just needed an outlet. I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the hospital to pick this her up. 12 year old girl that lives with you. You don't even know who she her teacher earlier. is. She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. Something's up here. No, oh, it's everything's exactly how it is. Why are you holding the ice pick? <laughs> when I started talking to her, Mizuki re-racked the weight. When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to this get This is the out. same voice clips, too. Yeah, from. <laughs> I would pipe it out. Wouldn't expect yeah. them to change After it. Ultra ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that, but I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. <laughs> Confirmed. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Okay. Let's not ask about her eyeball. <laughs> about you not I'm being able to talk. Send her right back into yeah, it. I'm fine, thanks to you. Uh huh. What? Yeah, we we did well, it. Yeah. It's like, what did I do? And why are you being so <laughs> nice to me? It was teacher who stayed with me all night. 
<laughs> Why didn't you tell me about her? And she, her model just snaps back and looks at you like, you fucking bitch. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. All right, that's what I, that's more what I remember. <laughs> about her. What? She's my teacher. Everything's back to normal. She's special. Mm -hmm. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes. It's like, uh, but she sometimes those other so kids are fucking tyrants. I can't help myself. You're a terrible father. You shouldn't give the kill. You shouldn't give the kids alcohol. You need to you're a terrible father. <laughs> Man, that's a callback. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You haven't heard four heard years. What? She does not know about the accident. Back when you used to live stream, <laughs> I didn't read any of that. What stuff? She doesn't know that Renju got hit. About the message. Mizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? I mean, he's talking about Pewter, right? He was the one that was looking into the message. Yeah. I'm... He's got a bad personality. He's weird, but he's not a bad personality. <laughs> It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you can. You really quiet. think you could hide things from me in my all-seeing eye? Buh? Yeah. I swear to God, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. I all sing. I fuck God. <laughs> My dad's never said anything like uh, that to me ever. <clears throat> that he was Did you you your special man. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number She's of. Saying, I didn't actually fight him. He just followed me. Right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Was her eye on the pick? I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. It was already <laughs> gone when she got there. She just kept it that in like a little necklace around found. her neck. It was probably <laughs> taken by the culprit. Like instead of a heart locket, it's just like a big fuck off. A uh, capsule with an eyeball in it. Eyeball with a giant fucking hole in it. Yeah. <laughs> you can use the hole as the place where the chain goes through. How'd you get her talking again? I just talked to her. You know bro. what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Will you do the same to me? <laughs> held her? If I, I go quiet, will you hold me? Night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. I can see her without eyesight. She's yeah, literally on that. screen. Yeah, this game needs to calm down with she that. Not bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Why can I x ray her? <laughs> <laughs> Do, do, do. Ooh. Yeah, she's got a metal plate. That's... A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. Was she an abuse victim? Something happened. Pardon me for asking, but your right arm... Oh. She's like, what? Does it bother you? <laughs> Does my arm bother you? <laughs> What? <laughs> this is a good reaction to that. No, I can't even feel it. I'm afraid. Okay. 
I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I guess I just I never changed. really noticed. The nerves died, and anyway, the story is: one day, a criminal broke into my house. Well, that's number ninety, whatever, or eighty-nine, or whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. So we saw the past. We saw Date's memory of this. Yeah, we saw the past. Was it Date that charged in? No, it was another guy, wasn't it? No, no this wasn't in Agent Eighty, what or whatever the hell his name is. This wasn't in Eighty Nine's Somnium. This was in Date's at the start of the game during the tutorial. Yeah. Nobody barged in. We just opened a door and because the tutorial was Iris's house for some reason. He was carrying a gun, and the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police Drugs? statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. Just a random crime. What? That the, makes sense. The dream I saw. You're her teacher? <laughs> yes, elementary school. That. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki <laughs> school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me. What is... Why are we getting a picture of her pipe and backpack? Because that's all she has. But I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. That yeah, was all left... she's got. That's all that was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. Is it a coincidence that you're her teacher? What? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? <laughs> well, I had I'm sure sooner or later teacher, she was but... just gonna have her <laughs> as a student. It <laughs> it be wasn't coincidental a coincidence at all. That ended up in my class. <laughs> Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school. Watch her end up being her mom or something. That she oh, doesn't know. <laughs> like she gave the kid up for adoption or something. Wouldn't explain Miz Mizuki's blue hair. I mean, don't you know? Brown or brownish. What the fuck <laughs> is her and, hair? Brown. It's brown like it's, and blonde. It's light blue. brown. Yeah. <laughs> Shoko just dyed it. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. No wonder she she's has to be so quiet, strong. But she's a very clever girl. Freaking, have you seen, like, video of Japanese trains? No. How they're just so packed in? I mean, that's generally a lot of trains. But not to the point where there are people, like, the, the train attendants are literally shoving and mashing people into the doors to close them. I've not seen those videos. <laughs> it's like somebody stuffing a mattress into a toy box that's too big for it. Are too small for it. But why would you push a mattress into a toy box? That's not a toy, Garkon. <clears throat> because, well, my parents <laughs> used a toy box to store all their old linen stuff. Yeah, but you put a, put a mattress in there. The joke is that it's too big for it. <laughs> and the joke is that it's not a toy. <laughs> okay. Neither is linen, I'm but trying, my parents I'm trying use to make a joke off of your joke. God a toy it. box as a linen storage box. You just ruined the whole thing. Your joke doesn't make sense. Neither does yours. 
My joke is rooted in reality. So is mine. No, it's not. And more than anything, she is kind. She's not kind to me. When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a Don't good girl. Don't you ever do that for What's me? What's on her Suzuki? record? <laughs> there are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another Sweet time, prank, she punched bro. the bully so hard that he <laughs> chipped the tooth. Are Sounds you like sure he didn't die? Yeah. You've but seen like how she punches. Her. She's a little clumsy, and just like Renju. Summarize for me. Why am I asking everybody to summarize for me? Notice that. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I did not know that it told Even the writers are like, okay, this is a lot to digest. Everyone in this route needs to summarize. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. All right, goodbye. That was cool. Mizuki's on the bench press. Hey, Renju, are you alive? <laughs> Renju, boss gave me permission to slap the shit out of you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Do it, pussy. He's not even here! <laughs> he left, too. <laughs> There's just here. something about this Indeed. family in hospitals. The bed is empty. I mean, I get he's standing, it. He's standing in the corner. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, oh, wasn't him. And you are? I'm a nurse. I work here. No shit! I don't think I'm you're a nurse. I think you're Ikea. lying to me. Where is he? Bathroom. He snuck out at night. Okay! <laughs> Why are you so <laughs> nonchalant about this? You're not that good. Snuck out. Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was That's successful, why <laughs> but he was in no condition to yeah. move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. He has no alibi for the time of Shoko's murder. That was noted in the investigation report. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the but hospital. She's not in the hospital. She is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. Iva, call in this gate. Roger that. Hello. Oh, hey. How are you doing? You want to go out? Uh, you know. Let me run off to wherever we ran off to in that one timeline. <laughs> What kind of employee training do they have here? Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renju. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him, too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Ah, oh, here yeah, we go. that's the one. Like, out of where Renju was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw like a secret party or something. But with the accident and all, still, he might be there. I know about Sunfish Pocket. Renju used to talk about it. He runs Lemniscate as well as that maid, ca maid cafe. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Farewell. Sunfish Pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. Where is he? <laughs> Where are He's we? not here, as you can see. Where are we? <laughs> Mr. Okura's room. I'm certain of it. Kate, are you sure you don't have a case of the dementias? <laughs> Alright, let's go see Mama.